Hello and welcome to the Chandra Academy. In today's video, we are going to find the limits of different expressions. So we are in the part 2 of the video. In the part 1, we solved expressions A, B and C. In this video, we will solve expression D, E and F. Let's start with D. So the expression D of X is equal to exponential of minus X minus 1 over sinus of 2x. How do we do this kind of limits? Because we are interested in the limits when x tends to 0. We will have something which has the form minus 1, minus 1, so 0 over sine of 0, 0, which is a non-defined limit. What do we need to spot here is that we've got sinus of something that tends to zero and we know the limit x over sinus of x when x x tends to zero is equal to one so we just have to arrange a little bit of a expression to make a 2x appear here and we have something like exponential of minus x minus one So how do we do that? We just have to see that this is minus exponential. So this is exponential of minus 0 plus x minus exponential of 0. And we will have some, an x that will appear, okay? because we will make appear a 2x at the top. So at the, so at the bottom, 1x will appear. And this is, this is approximately the derivative of exponential of x. So we will see how we do it precisely in the exercise. But this is what you have to think about when you see those kind of exercises. So what do we want to do first? Is to make appear a 2x at the top. So what do we do? We multiply by 2x. And we divide by 2x. So why can we divide by 2x? Because we've got x different from 0. We want x that tends to 0, not x that is equal to 0. So times 1 over sinus of 2x times exponential of minus x minus 1, okay? which is equal to 2x over sinus of 2x times 1 half times exponential of minus x minus 1 over x. We do know that this thing will tend to 1 when x tends to 0. But what about this thing? So we want to have something that that is exponential of x prime, so in x it's equal to one value, so here x is equal to zero, and this thing is exponential of x minus exponential of zero over x, so we want the limit, limit when x tends to zero of something like that. You see, to have something like that, We have to to make a little change of variables where we put x is equal to minus x because we want to have a x in this uh, in the exponential. So let's do it. We will have 2x over sinus of 2x times 1 half times exponential of x minus 1 over so the this x turns into a minus x okay minus capital x times minus capital x okay and so by product by product by product we will have the limit the limit of uh, d of x when x 
tend to to zero, which is equal to the product of the limit when x tends to zero of 2x over sinus of 2x times, so here is a minus one half, which is a constant we do not care about r, times the limit, so I will write it down here, so times the limit when x tends to zero of exponential of x minus one over x. So why is it when x tends to zero? Because you see that x is equal to minus x. So when minus x tends to zero, okay, it implies capital X tends to zero as well. So when x, little x tends to zero means capital X tends to zero. And what do we have here? So for the first one, we will have is equal to one. Okay, we said it because this is x, x over sinus of x when x tends to zero times minus one half, this constant, times exponential of x prime in zero, okay, with x is equal to zero, which is equal to one times minus one half, exponential of x prime is equal to exponential of x, evaluated in x is equal zero, which is equal to one times minus one half times exponential of zero, one is equal minus one half. So we have d is equal minus one half. So you have to remember about this technique because I will go a little bit faster for other, uh, other limits. For other limits. So limit e. e of x, so the expression within our limit, is equal to x plus 1, so the x plus 1 over x plus 3 to the 2x power, okay? And we want the limit in plus the infinity of e of x is equal to what? So in plus the infinity, we will have this thing that tends to 1 and this thing that tends to the infinity. And 1 power infinity is uh, undefined as well. So first, when you have things with exponents like that, what you want to do is to use the logarit logarithm rules. So it's equal, let's remember that x is equal to exponential of ln of x. And when you know it, you can say that e of x is equal to exponential of logarithm of x plus 1 over x plus 3 to the 2x power. Also, we've got logarithm of a to the b power is equal to b logarithm of a. And so we can put the 2 to x outside of the ln is equal to exponential of 2x times logarithm of x plus 1 over x plus 3, which is the same thing. So I, I would rather have the x plus 1 uh, down the fraction is equal to exponential of minus 2x. And when I put a minus here, I can switch, switch the two sides of the fraction logarithm of x plus 3 over x plus 1. And what do we want to have now? So we know, we know that, that the limit, the limit of logarithm, logarithm of 1 plus x over x when x tends to 0, is equal to 1, okay? Because this is equal 
to ln of x prime evaluated in x is equal to zero because this is the uh, definition of the derivative okay <coughs> this is an identity you need to have in your head so we want to find this identity here how do we do so we want to have something like one plus x in the fraction okay so exponential of minus two x logarithm of x plus one over x plus one plus two over x plus one this thing here is equal to one so we do have something like logarithm of one plus something that will tend to zero because when x tends to plus the infinity we have two x uh, we have two over x plus one which tends to zero so this is this will be our capital x okay so let's let's say it we want capital x to be equal to 2 over x plus 1. So we are going to solve for x. So we got x plus 1 times x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2 over capital X minus 1. And when we have this, so we want to have capital X everywhere in this expression. So we just replace. You got exponential of minus 2 over 2x minus 1 times logarithm of 1 plus x, which is equal, which is equal to exponential of minus 2. So I will develop minus 2 uh, minus 2 times minus 1, so plus 2, plus 2 times ln of 1 plus capital X. So this was this development here, here, and here. And minus 4 times, so minus 4 times logarithm of 1 plus, plus X over X. And we now just have to take the limit. So the limit when capital X tends to zero, because this is the same limit as when X tends to plus the infinity, because when X tends to plus the infinity, so X tends to plus the infinity implies capital X tends to zero because two over plus the infinity is equal to zero. So this, this limit, so the limit we are looking for is equal to the limit when x tends to zero. This is called a change of variables. Is equal to exponential of, of 2 plus 2 times ln of 1. So 2, 2 times ln of 1, which is 0 minus 4 times and we say that this limit is equal to 1 for 4 times 1 so why can we uh, put the limit inside of the exponential and this is very important because exponential then shall is continuous so we can say that limit of exponential of f of x is equal to exponential of limit of f of x okay because exponential is continuous so this is our case <coughs> and so the limit f is equal to exponential of ln of 1 so 0 so exponential of 0 minus 4 which is equal to exponential of minus 4 and in conclusion, f is equal to 1 over exponential to the fourth power. Then, let's go for the last limit. So we will have limit of ln of x minus 1 over x minus e. And this feels a lot like a derivative again. Let's, 
let's write down the limit. So we will have g, which is equal to the limit of j of x when x tends to e, which is equal to limit when x tends to e of ln of x minus 1 over x minus e. And what do we have to see here? Is that this thing will tend to 0 when x tends to e. And this is not uh, luck because here what is 1? We have to spot it because this is the only way to solve the thing, okay? In, uh, in grade 12, you have some, uh, some methods that are always the same. So, when we have an exercise, we know that we can solve it easily. So, we are looking into our little uh, toolbox, toolbox with methods. And this thing looks like a derivative. So, let's go and look for a derivative. And what is the one? The one is ln of e. Okay? So, let's write down g of x as ln of e, uh, ln of x, minus ln of e over x minus e. Okay, so now we want to have something clear, a clear derivative. So, let's do a change of variables and put this thing here as capital X. Okay, because we want to divide by something that tends to zero clearly. So, if capital X is equal to X minus E, that means that little x is equal to X plus E. And so now, G is equal to the limit when X tends to what? So, when little x tends to E, we have capital X that tends to zero. So capital X that tends to zero of logarithm of X plus E minus logarithm of E over X. And this is exactly the derivative of ln of X. So ln of X prime evaluated in x is equal to e. Okay, this is exactly the definition of the derivative. Okay, so j, j is equal to ln prime of e. If you will, what is ln of x prime? This is equal to 1 over x evaluated in x is equal e. This is equal to 1 over e. So we got g, which is equal to 1 over e. And we solve the video. So always, in conclusion, look for, into exercises, look for something you know. Because exercises are made for you to solve them. So hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Bye.